गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ऑनलाइन पीपल के ले लिया ऑडिबल गुड मॉर्निंग बड़े दिनों बाद तो लेट स्टार्ट चलिए सो लेट एस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट इज लैम्ब्रू एलिफेंट रिजर्व द न्यूज वॉज इन रिस्पॉन्स टू छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट रिक्वेस्ट छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट रिक्वेस्ट द यूनियन कोल मिनिस्ट्री हैज डिसाइडेड नॉट टू ऑप्शन फोर्टी कोल ब्लॉक्स बिलोंगिंग टू कोल इंडिया लिमिटेड लोकेट इन अराउंड लेम्बरू एलिफेंट कॉरिडोर सो फ्यू थिंग्स वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट इट बिलोंग्स टू छत्तीसगढ़ There's a Lamru Elephant Reserve and there's an Elephant Corridor belonging to Chhattisgarh, and uh, government was thinking of auctioning coal blocks. So, a few things we need to know about mining also. The mining is mining in India is regulated by a law known as MMDR, Mines Mineral Development and Regulation Act. That basically says that all the minerals within the boundary of a state is the state's property. Except the minerals which are mentioned in Schedule One, so all the minerals within the state boundary are the property of the state concerned. Except the minerals which are mentioned in Schedule One, on that the power of giving approval is with Union Government. So that clear? Who? All minerals are with the state except some minerals which are reserved for the. Union government that you need to know. So in this case, uh, Kalesh, what are you saying? In this case, in this case, the issue is not about it. The Lamru Elephant Reserve uh, is situated in Korba district of Chhattisgarh. District is not important. You please do not go this detail. All you need to know is it is located in Chhattisgarh. That is more than sufficient. It provides permanent habitat, reduce property damage, and mitigate. Because human element elephant conflicts are very common. Because understand with elephants, they do not have a natural predator. Predators are very necessary component of the ecosystem. They keep a population in check. 
otherwise it can keep on growing so elephant is one thing which neither eat anyone and nor get eaten by anyone sabko samajh mein aaya to it is basically they do not have any natural predator so that's a good thing but nonetheless there is human and elephant conflict which are very 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 common because indians have the habit of domesticating elephants also in never domestication of elephants also happen so anyway it is also an integral part of elephant corridor or what is this elephant corridor we have created some dedicated corridors for elephant because elephant travels a long journey for all the purposes and they have a eidetic memory they retain the long duration or the path for a long duration and they travel it for man like procreation they travel to their native place for procreate and then they wander outside and they know the place and they keep on traveling but we are building highways expressways that cut down their path so for whenever we construct for example there is a highway going here so what we do is we create a bridge over it that bridge is not for human that bridge is for elephants because elephants know their particular way and they used to cross from this area but we have constructed a road now so it is cutting their area and there are chances elephant may come in front of vehicles and all so we construct a highway sorry bridge over the road that bridge is dedicated to elephants it is not human bridge it is for elephants such such bridges are known as any corridor elephant corridor tiger corridor corridor matlab a place a dedicated pathway which we have built for wildlife because they migrate from one place to another this much is clear please remember that so let's see about elephant reserve there are around 33 elephant reserves in our across 14 states these reserves play a crucial part aapko pata hai let's uh, talk about elephant first they are considered as keystone species environment may you will study their different kind of species some are known as keystone uh, keystone species means any species which serves a numerous function if you remove that species then it will disturb the entire ecology they are so key to that ecology that they provide various ecological function can we call humans as keystone species yes, yes because we are disturbing this environment too much if you remove humans then earth will come back to natural order ठीक है, so we are a keystone species because we have created Delhi को आप ले लीजिए, Delhi क्या? It's a ecosystem, it's a human-made ecosystem. If you remove human, then Delhi Earth will take it back. All the so-called glamorous building we have made, Earth will demolish them over time, and it will come to the natural order. We are preventing that natural order by keep on constructing things. So Delhi is a ecosystem which humans sustain. Without human, the Delhi will fall, just like a natural. Uh, natural sea natural whatever are keep on doing things so in, in that context we can say in urban landscape or any man made landscape humans are also a keystone species concept samajh mein aaya any species that serves a very key part of the ecology without that species that ecosystem may fall so similarly elephants are keystone species because they play a numerous part for example they shape the landscape they disperse the seeds and they create what all similarly for example you may have heard about bees bees are very important species they are very important in pollination uh, plants where there is cross pollination self pollination bees serves a very important purpose if bees are eradicated and majority of forest that you see will also be eradicated so they also play a key function similarly they also play a key function they create landscape disperse seeds and water holes on different kind of things they create anyway so keystone species i have given a definition after this a keystone species is a species that has disproportionate large effect on its natural environment ab this species can be anything maybe small maybe bigger that doesn't matter keystone is not about the size of the population it about it is about the role that it serves sabko samajh mein aaya please remember that and this is also you have to remember for prelims three sub species of asian elephants so there are only three species do not know exhaustive detail but have a general idea you basically can ask that in prelims easily so there is one called indian elephant or whatever this name is elephas maximus indicus latin phrase always has the widest range among the asian elephant sub species widest range means they travel long they travel long journeys and account for majority of the remaining elephant mm -hmm. on the continent which continent we are talking about asian continent we are talking about <clears throat> they are found in various part of south asia including india
so that's why it is named as indian elephant technical name i don't think upsc focus too much but please know that there are three species of elephant particularly for asia's purpose one is known as indian elephant and what is the peculiar feature about them they have a long range of travel theek hai this is a special feature about them next sumatra elephant sumatra elephant they are native to we know sumatra is a island of indonesia so they are native to indonesia and they are the smallest of asian elephant so indian elephant has a widest range sumatran elephant are the smallest one and water hole i don't know maybe they dig up something that water comes out aisa kuch hoga water hole last is sri lankan elephant so these are the three species so what are the three species of elephant in indian subcontinent or the south asia is indian elephant sumatran and sri lankan indian elephant has the longest range sumatran are the smallest one and the sri lankan are the largest one so itni detail kafi hai do not go in deep details because understand previous year upsc they asked some peculiar question about habits of animal ab itna deep mein koi nahi padta but the thing is understand upsc asked some question just to break break what break confidence those question are anyway not supposed to be attempted by anyone that's why you have a cut off how much otherwise you would be having a cut off of 200 cut off is 180 why because some questions are made just to break your confidence to think like i know nothing in the exam there are any way no one will attempt or somebody will attempt pata nahi kitna will attempt uske paas theek hai or maybe luck factor is also there you may have read that thing somewhere you got the answer but majority people will not attempt that question so don't worry about one or two question which are very absurd one and you pc always ask one to three questions so absurd nobody can imagine ki ye puch bhi sakte hain theek hai we are not targeting them we are targeting the remaining question that can be answered clear white elephant mujhe kya pata kaun hota hai होगा एशिया में तो ये तीन है मे बी वाइट एलिफेंट मे बी प्रेजेंट समेर एल्स वाइट एलिफेंट होता भी है और जस्ट अ नॉम हो सकता है मे बी देर वराइटी विद इन दिस बस स्पीशीज तो तीन ही हमारे पास हो सकता है विद इन इंडियन एलिफेंट डे मे बी कलर वेरिएशन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन रीजन जैसे ह्यूमन वी आर वन स्पीशीज होमो सेपियंस होमो इज द ग्रुप एंड सेपियंस इज द स्पीशीज वी आर होमो सेपियन देर यूज टू बी न्यूमरस स्पीशीज विद इन ह्यूमैनिटी देर यूज टू बी होमो इज द ग्रुप देर यूज टू बी न्यूमरस स्पीशीज वी आर वन ऑफ दैम वी रेडिकेटेड द रिमेनिंग वन एंड वी रिमेन द डोमिनेंट वी हैव डिफरेंट कलर एंड आइडिया मे बी हो सकता है इंडियन एलिफेंट में दे मे बी कलर रीजनल वेराइटी बट दीज आर दी थ्री स्पीशीज फाउंड इन एशियन कॉन्टिनेंट ठीक है प्लीज रिमेम्बर फ्यू फैक्ट नेक्स्ट कंजर्वेशन स्टेटस ऑफ एलिफेंट्स अंडर वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट लॉ ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया क्या सिर्फ फ्रेज तो मुझे पता है वाइट एलिफेंट का दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेशनल कमीशन फॉर माइनॉरिटी इज ऑफ ऑन कॉल एज वाइट एलिफेंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है इट इज देयर बट नो नो यूजलेस अब मे बी हो सकता है रियल लाइफ में आई डोंट नो एनी वे वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इज क्लियर वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इज वेरी क्रिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया लॉ रिगार्डिंग प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट इन दिस यू डिक्लेयर नेशनल पार्क वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज दे ऑल आर डिक्लेयर अंडर वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट दे इज अ क्रिटिकल डिफरेंस बिटवीन नेशनल पार्क एंड अ हाँ यस दैट कुड बी थिंग वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट में यू हैव नेशनल पार्क एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज अब नेशनल पार्क में द डिफरेंस इज नेशनल पार्क में ऑल स्पीशीज आर प्रोटेक्टेड इ रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ दियर नेचर योर दूसरा क्या बोला था मैंने वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज दे आर डेडिकेटेड टू अ पर्टिकुलर कॉम्युनिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी फॉर टाइगर समथिंग कॉल टाइगर रिजर्व वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी फॉर एलिफेंट एलिफेंट रिजर्व these are kind of wildlife sanctuary the prime species is protected the remaining species are also semi protected but national park mein every species is automatically protected or wildlife sanctuaries mein you can enter without permission cannot hunt while national park mein you cannot even enter without permission so there is some key differences between national park and wildlife sanctuary but all are declared under wildlife protection so few thing remember 
National Park, Wildlife Sanctuary, Tiger Reserve, Elephant Reserve, they all are declared under Wildlife Protection Act. All the types of forest, reserve forest, protected forest are declared under Forest Act. Iske tehat nahi hota hai wo. So please remember this distinction. Types of forest like reserve forest, protected forest are declared under Forest Act. While sanctuaries and parks are declared under Wildlife Protection Act. And nothing is declared under Environment Protection Act. Environment Protection Act means nothing we declare. Environment Protection Act empowers the government to take measures for protection of environment. This is declaration. Nahi hai. Clear? Please remember this. Next is IUCN. And which schedule is in the schedule? Mein? So you have to remember that the elephant are listed in Schedule 1 of Wildlife Protection Act. It means they have the highest level of protection. We will do the schedule later. Notes mein hai aage. Next is IUCN. Red list. IUCN is International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Fauna and Flora. Basically, in International Union for Conservation of Nature. It's a union of civil society, governments, NGO, international body that together come together, evolve policies, convention, agreement to protect wildlife around the world. So it's a kind of, you can say, grouping. It's a coalition, it's a grouping, it's a pressure group kind of thing. So IUCN has classified Indian elephant as because IUCN published something called Red List. Red List may classify uh, species as endangered, critically endangered, vulnerable, non vulnerable. They're different categories. So Indian elephants are listed in. So these things you have to remember Indian elephants are mentioned in Schedule 1 of. Wildlife Protection Act, which give highest level of protection. Second, they are listed as endangered in IUCN's red list. Red list of what? Red list of threatened species. Okay, for prelims purpose, remember who published red list of threatened species? IUCN. Okay, please remember. Next is cities. Very important convention at world level. Cities, the full form is Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. It has different appendix, appendix 1, appendix 2, appendix 3. You will do that in detail in environment, but it is listed in, elephant are listed in appendix 1, which includes species threatened with. So three things we understood about Indian elephant. First, it is listed in Schedule 1 of Wildlife Protection Act, which give highest level of protection. Second, it is an endangered species under IUCN's red list. Third, it is mentioned in Appendix 1 of the Cities Convention that lists the species which have a threat to extinct. Clear? Please remember these things. Ab, Government of India's initiative. Number one is Gajayatra. It's a basically a campaign launched at World Elephant Day in 2017 to protect elephant and raise awareness about their conservation. The role they play, the, uh, the biggest problem with elephant is poaching. Poaching for what? Poaching for their teeth. In some, in, uh, some uh, traditional medicines, particularly in Indonesia, their teeth are used for some traditional medicinal purposes. Because black marketing is a big thing. So, and nonetheless, schedule one ka matlab hai, if you possess any teeth of the elephant, you are automatically a criminal. Schedule one provided the highest level of protection and the highest penalty also. Okay, please remember that. Next, project elephant. It is a currently sponsored means the entire money comes from the government of India. So, it is Project Elephant has been launched as a centrally sponsored scheme, of course, to protect elephant, their habitat, their corridors, their ecosystem, whatever. Next, Odisha, uh, in an effort to enrich the food stock for wild elephant and prevent man animal conflict, Odishan, um, Odishan Athagar Forest Division has started casting seed balls or seed bombs. Seed balls, basically for the purpose of their food, nutrition, just a fortified food money. Is Fortified food, you understand? There's a problem of malnutrition. So what we do, for example, you eat rice, you do not eat non-veg. But that has some element that we want in your food diet. So what hum kya karte we make rice in laboratory, something you call genetically modified crops. We will take out the ele elements from, for example, egg or chicken or whatever, and we'll put into the rice itself. So you do not have to change your dietary habits, but your nutrition will change. So these are called fortified food. 
जैसे वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल सॉल्ट टाटा सॉल्ट देखा उसमें क्या लिखा होता है विद आयोडीन इट इज इट इज अ फोर्टीफाइड सॉल्ट नॉर्मल सॉल्ट में आयोडीन नहीं होता उसमें इट इज एक्स्ट्रा इंक्लूडेड सो दैट इट कैन डील विद द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ गुएटर इट वॉज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम इन इंडिया नाउ इट इज नो लॉन्गर अ प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट राइट ऑफ द पैसेज ऑफ एनिमल सुप्रीम कोर्ट अपहेल्ड इन ट्वेंटी इलेवन ऑर्डर ऑफ मद्रास हाईकोर्ट रिगार्डिंग नीलगिरी एलिफेंट कॉरिडोर अफर्मिंग राइट ऑफ पैसेज फॉर एलिफेंट उन्होंने बताया था एलिफेंट ट्रेवल लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन दे हैव आइडेक्टिक मेमरी दे रिमेंबर द पाथ एंड दे ट्रेवल द सेम पाथ एवरी टाइम ठीक है फॉर दिस वी हैव इसके लिए हमें क्या बना रहे हैं एलिफेंट कॉरिडोर विच हैव ब्रिजेज अंडर पासिस to make sure that their way of journey is not disturbed by any man made adventure clear okay please remember this now let's see international effort the international effort is monitoring the illegal killing of elephant the project name is mike program it's an international collaboration to track trends related to illegal killing of elephants in africa and asia basically it's an international collaboration to Uh, stop any elephant killing and major majorly elephants are killed for iv tusk and jo bhi hota hai i don't know theek hai last project elephant project elephant was initiated by government of india as a centrally sponsored upar likha centrally sector hai na pad gaya centrally sponsored scheme with the following objective hame pata hi hai to protect elephant their habitat and corridor to deal with the problem of human elephant conflict and all dramas welfare <coughs> and who is the ministry who has operationalized this project please remember the ministry ministry of environment forest and climate change now some important treaties convention on trade in endangered species of wild flora and flora and fauna it's a voluntary remember this term is very important it is a voluntary but legally binding means the countries can voluntarily adopt this convention but if they adopt it is a legally binding convention on the countries so it's a voluntary but legally binding international agreement adopted by iucn india has signed this agreement anyway and it covers wild animals and plants both next is its secretariat is administered by these all are very important body unep united nations environment program it is a specialized body of united nations it is not an organ organ of un are only six it is within organ you have bodies for example organ of state how many organs of state we have three organs of state legislature executive and judiciary cbi ed these are specialized bodies of the organ of state the ed cbi is a is a specialized body of executive which is a organ of state similarly there are six organs of united nation which have different specialized bodies one of them is unep virtually all program of united nations related to environment protection are carried out administered and and coordinated by UNDP clear similarly you have UNDP all the programs of united nation related to development empowerment are carried out by UNDP so if you have some confusion you can always remember we are talking about UNDP united nations environment program all, all of the conventions member state are represented in conference of parties aapko pata hai whenever whenever the members who have signed the agreement they meet we call it cop there's a conference of parties cop 21 of paris agreement cop 23 of unf triple c it means for the 21st time the member of the paris agreement are meeting together this is the cop cop means conference of parties conference of parties to which we are talking about cities which is sites whatever which is the highest decision making body basically they come together discuss debate arrive at ideas and that are implemented by anyone who has signed right clear chaliye aur maine aapko bata hi diya tha india is a signatory to as cities jo bhi hai next iucn iucn as i told you it is a union kind of pressure group interest group of both the government and civil society organization including the public private and 
non governmental organization the prime purpose is symbiotic development of human and economy and nature something we call sustainable development a symbiotic development of humanity uh, economy and nature is known as sustainable development who gave that term kisne di thi wo term pdf ye kahan milta hai agar aapko to nahi pata hoga i think it is available on the portal and there is also a folder that i made usme pada hota hai ye it has all the pdf since the time we started the classes If you don't have the access, please ask the institute. They will provide it. Shreya, fine. Clear. Sustainable development. Who gave that term? I forgot. Yeah, Google. Do it. Now do it. All of Google. Brent Land Commission. <laughs> Brent Land Commission. No. <laughs> Brent Land Commission appointed by appointed by a conference, United Nation Conference on Human Environment that took place. after that brendan commission was appointed which was instrumental in creation of unfccc united nations framework on climate change the base agreement on climate change that was very instrumental that gave the idea of sustainable development to ye cheeze thoda yaad rakha kariye because upsc prelims mein aise hi cheeze puchta hai theek hai sustainable development consider the following statement about sustainable development point 1 definition point 2 it was adopted by this point 3 it was given by this samajh mein aaya uske liye maine aapko suggest kiya i know it's very hard to remember so many scholars so many commissions so i have told you always make a page or separate diary diary mein all you have to write is name of the commission scholar or whatever put a hyphen or arrow write down the concept or term coined so then you have a diary it will not have more than 50 pages i am talking about all subjects put together you have a concise diary which is having the name of the scholar and the concept coin committee concept coin or some definition given same you can make a separate diary small diary chahiye aapko zyada badi nahi lagegi isme at most 50 pages are sufficient for entire upsc it will isme aap kaise list kar sakte hain for example right now if you have to revisit to aap kare notes kholne lag jayenge kahan likha tha maine ye it is hard to find better rahega if you have a concise place where you can read them immediate revise ho jayega ha bhai this committee gave this idea आइडिया आपको हमेशा याद रहता है कंसेप्ट यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यू ऑफन फॉरगेट द टेक्निकल नेम एंड द कंपनी एंड द कमिटीज नेम उसके लिए मेक अ सेपरेट डायरी सबको समझ में आया दैट्स द बेस्ट वे ऑफ कीपिंग देम इन माइंड ठीक है बाकी आपकी मर्जी है ठीक है नेक्स्ट इट पब्लिशेस मैंने आपको बताया था इट पब्लिशेस रेड डेटा बुक इट पब्लिशेस रेड डेटा बुक दैट क्लासिफाइज स्पीशीज इनटू क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड एक्सटिंक्ट एक्सटिंक्ट इन वाइल्ड देयर डिफरेंट कैटेगरी एक्सटिंक्ट extinct in wild critically endangered endangered vulnerable not vulnerable these are different categories they all have different parameters of classification yahan nahi karenge hum that is a part of environment environment in detail mein karwaya jata hai theek hai for a reference i am just telling now let's see domestic law domestic law mein number 1 you have is wildlife protection act 1972 it provides a legal framework for protection of species of wild animals and plants this act also list schedules of plants and animal to provide varying degree of protection so it has number of schedules every schedules may you have different species and depending upon the species and depending upon the schedule you have degree of protection let's see that them schedule 1 schedule 1 provide the most rigorous protection and the harshest penalty any species in schedule 1 cannot be hunted cannot be poached cannot be disturbed even if you are found in possession of anything related to the species it's a criminal offense sabko samajh aata to schedule 1 mein any species which is listed provides highest level of protection and the highest penalties there is pro- they are prohibited from hunting throughout india except under threat to human life or in case of disease to aapko nahi to the animal theek hai aapko disease aap maar diya kisi ko nahi chalega to the animal if that person is critically diseased beyond recovery then you can do this so accept these two criteria where you are acting in self defense or there the uh, animal is critically injured or diseased apart from that you cannot kill an animal anywhere in india even possessing anything belonging to that species is a criminal offense clear some species i have listed jaise snow leaper black buck uh, you know black buck is very famous everyone knows this solomon bhai 
सोलमन भाई हैड समथिंग विद दिस हिमालयन बियर पीने वाली नहीं ठीक है हिमालयन बियर एंड एशियाटिक चीता फाइन नेक्स्ट शेड्यूल टू एनिमल अंडर शेड्यूल टू आर अकॉर्डेड हायर प्रोटेक्शन विद द प्रोहिबिशन ऑन दियर ट्रेड शेड्यूल टू में इफ यू हैव अ स्पीशीज इट हैज अ हायर प्रोटेक्शन देन अदर शेड्यूल्स बट अ लेसर प्रोटेक्शन देन शेड्यूल वन सबको समझ में शेड्यूल टू हैज अ लेसर प्रोटेक्शन देन शेड्यूल वन बट अ हायर प्रोटेक्शन देन रिमेनिंग शेड्यूल पर्टिकुलरली इट प्रोहिबिट्स ट्रेड इसमें सम स्पीशीज आई है लिस्टेड लाइक एस एम इज मेको हिमालयन ब्लैक बियर एंड इंडियन कोबरा नेक्स्ट शेड्यूल थ्री एंड शेड्यूल फोर शेड्यूल थ्री एंड शेड्यूल फोर हैज द स्पीशीज क्राइटेरिया याद रखिएगा विच आर नॉट एंडेंजर्ड सो शेड्यूल वन एंड शेड्यूल टू हैज स्पीशीज विच आर एंडेंजर्ड शेड्यूल थ्री एंड फोर हैज द स्पीशीज विच आर नॉट एंडेंजर्ड Hunting is prohibited. Okay, hunting is prohibited on all all four. Schedule one, schedule two, schedule three, schedule four. All four me hunting is prohibited. Schedule one me highest penalty. Schedule two me higher than other but lesser than. Schedule one penalty particularly trade is prohibited. Hunting is prohibited in all fours. Another difference is schedule one, schedule two has the species which are endangered as well. Schedule three and schedule four me species which cannot be hunted but they are not. endangered clear up please remember these distinctions of course its penalty is less than the penalty of first two schedule maine bata na as we are going down into the schedule the penalties are reducing La, next is schedule 5 schedule 5 is call something call vermin vermin anything that is allowed to kill like rodent pest and other things so small even yahan pe waise likha hai small wild animal par zaruri nahi hai For example, Neil guy. Ab Neil guy has a problem because cow belt or North India there is a problem. Cow is very sentimental topic. It's a part of political debate. And what happens? Madhya Pradesh and UP face this problem a lot. Neil guys are a nuisance there because they have a word guy. They are not the cow that you imagine. But they because we use the word Neil guy and guy means cow. Cow has a sentiments of Hinduism. So the population often Resist killing them, and they become a very big nuisance. Number of time Madhya Pradesh has declared Neil Gai as vermin. Vermin means you can kill them. It is necessary. They keep. ठीक है, a bit inhumane, but nonetheless it is but necessary to control the population because if their population is too much, it creates unnecessary chaos. The expressways, highways you are making, particularly UP, me the highways that you are expressways pe. Majority of the accident that happens here happens because of Neil Gai, because Neil Gai has a sentiment word Gai. That's why nobody wants to kill them. Even when government declares them vermin, then be people do not kill them. And if forest officials come to control their population, they resist it. But then those Neil Gai become a problem because the, if population will be high, they will wander here and there, and they lead to numerous accidents. You can see this majority of the accidents in highways and expressways, particularly in UP and Madhya Pradesh, are belonging to Neil Gai problem. को समझ में आया? So the, remember Neil Gai, oh sorry, any species that is included in Schedule Five can be declared vermin. Vermin means you are allowed to hunt them. Primary purpose is for population control. Clear? Please remember this. Next, last is Schedule Six. So, what is the difference between schedule earlier five schedule and schedule six? Is earlier five schedules covers only animals. This schedule cover plants. Clear difference? <coughs> so, it has it covers cultivation of specified plants and restricted possession, sale, transportation without prior permission of competent authority. Often, the forest department of the state concerned, state wise, very करता है. So, as a summary, let us put it. So, let us summarize. You have six schedules in Wildlife Protection Act. Under Wildlife Protection Act, you declare national park wildlife sanctuaries, which have different degree of protections. All schedules have different degree of protection and different degree of punishment. Schedule one has the highest, and Schedule five has the least. As you go down, it drops. Schedule one to five covers animals. Schedule six cover plants. Schedule five may you cannot hunt, you cannot transport, you cannot possess, and it provide highest degree of penalties. 
शेड्यूल सेकेंड में इट प्रोवाइड लेसर डिग्री ऑफ पेनल्टी देन शेड्यूल वन बट हैज मोर लेस द सेम प्रोविजन द डिफरेंस हेयर इज शेड्यूल वन एंड शेड्यूल टू लिस्ट एंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज शेड्यूल थ्री एंड शेड्यूल फोर लिस्ट नॉन एंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज एंड शेड्यूल फाइव लिस्ट स्पीशीज दैट कैन बी हंटेड क्लियर है समरी चलिए लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट वन The next news we have with respect to theater, क्या लिखा है? Theaterization, theaterization of armed forces. Uh, it is also belonging to GS paper three internal security. The chapter on internal security. वहाँ पे you do this. Now uh, what is the drama with theaterization? Because understand when we had war, for example, Kargil war. Kargil में we did not use the air force. We had Goa operation. We did not use. I think the air force was not used. So, if you look at India's operation, be it an accession of Hyderabad, be it an accession of Goa, whatever, so we often one part of the military left out the other part because there is no control and coordination. Armed forces, man. Recently, Modi government has created CDS, Chief of Defence Staff. Now, understand why? Why it took 70 years to India to have Chief of Defence Staff? Chief of Defence Staff means a super boss of all armed forces. You have the General of Army. You have the uh, chief marshal or whatever of uh, air force and then navy so air force army navy has their separate chief who regulate their day to day functioning and everything but there is a super boss among them above those three there is a super boss that super boss is known as cds recently modi government constituted cds pehle hamare paas nahi tha kyon nahi tha because 1857 mein there was a revolt against the british empire in india and it was a sepoy mutiny according to britishers according to us it was the first war of independence vidhi savarkar called this so britishers after having that war they understood one thing if this armed forces are together combined they get britishers in india did a lot of bad things few things they did very good first thing they introduced rule of law they did atrocities but those atrocities were based on laws they properly passed the laws and then committed atrocities very good example roll attack jiske khilaf we had the satyagraha and jallianwala bagh hatyakand happened theek hai so second thing they did good was they after 1857 they were convinced that we will keep military under the thumb of civilian government the reason india never had a military coup was this except india if you look at the around countries around india all had a military coup recent mein myanmar mein had a military coup india never witnessed a military coup why because since british time 1857 revolt british has made sure that the armed forces always remain under direct and strict control of whom civilian government it's a good thing i always say hamare politician they may be corrupt they may be rapist murder whatever they could be but nonetheless they are chosen by us we can remove them मिलिट्री गवर्नेंस सुनने में अच्छा लगता है बट इट इज नॉट गुड यू कैन टेक एनी कंट्री वेयर दे हैड मिलिट्री कू मिलिट्री कम्स इन टू पावर बाय द प्रोमिस ऑफ सर्विंग द पीपल बट आई टोल्ड यू स्ट्रॉन्ग मैन नेवर सर्व द पीपल दे क्रिएट अ मिराज ऑफ सर्विंग द पीपल दे आर वेरी गुड एट क्रिएटिंग मिराजेस दे आर वेरी गुड एट क्रिएटिंग यू नो अच्छे दिन विच नेवर कम बट दे आर वेरी सक्सेसफुल इन कन्विंसिंग द पीपल Every time army had a coup in Pakistan, they carried a coup in the name of good governance. They said this government is corrupt, this and that. And when we will come to power, we will provide you the bestest government possible. As a kabi nahi hota, but nonetheless, because people are angry with their civilian government, they support. Sabko samajh mein aaya? So one reason India never had this CDS because. Britishers time we made sure that we will not allow armed forces to concentrate power and there was a threat if cds will be there he is a super boss he commands all three branches or jitni bhi aur branches aap banayenge he commands all of them so if he want he is that much powerful he can carry out a coup there is a possibility he can to so indian politicians since the independence they were fearful fearful of what having a cds we never had a cds until very recently and why recently because now india is a mature democracy understand new things are fragile old things are not 
when india got independence india had a lot of problem of integration of princely state secession was going on in jammu kashmir north east south mein language question was going on india had a lot of problem and we started with the economy and democracy which was very fragile high literacy high malnutrition high maternal mortality you cannot imagine any indicator which was good when britishers left india at that scenario we did not want that this fractured india could come under supreme control of a leader a military dictator so we never had cds sabko samajh mein aaya to recently we included cds ab now second effort after cds the second effort that we are taking is that is theaterization sabko reform samajh mein aaya first effort modi government took was creating cds chief of defense staff the first cds was bipin rawat abhi shayad koi dusra ban gaya hai he died in a plane crash now second effort government is taking is theaterization of armed forces uh, what is theaterization theaterization means when you combined all armed forces under one command abhi kya hota hai army has different command north command central command south command navy has different command particularly east command west command and south command north mein to see hai hi nahi hamare paas and air force has different commands so the problem is maan lete northern command to so north mein you do not have a navy command North may only you have a army command and air force command. Now there is a problem of coordination. Man, that some operation has to be carried out. Now there is no super boss. So army plans its own operation, air force plans its own operation. There is nobody to coordinate the operations. A super boss kind of thing. So now having theaterization. Theaterization means in a region we will put all command together. For example, northern command may we will intermix both air force and army together. so both will be controlled by in a same manner they will be coordination they will be hierarchy is ek aur fayda hua resource saving if for example army has some plane it can use air force has some foot soldiers it can use so there is cross utilization of sepoys there is cross utilization of employees there is cross utilization of weaponries and there is cross utilization of all the assets including bases this is called theaterization sabko samajh aaya what is theaterization let's quickly see Recently, the armed forces finalized integrated theater command with proposed theater command under National Defense Committee led by Defense Minister. So there will there is a National Defense Committee led by Defense Minister. Or, this is why one thing also important. Why every time a Defense Secretary is an IAS officer, because in Defense, me Defense Secretary could be a military person, but no, we kept. we always kept an ias officer even the army general report to an ias officer who report to the minister why we created this person in between to make sure that the army person do not command too much the minister we always maintain civilian bureaucracy isliye maine aapko bataya tha this indian services were made by britishers and the entire purpose of this service was to control the people of india it was never meant for developmental purposes it was only meant to control the people of india and that's why every branch has always been subordinate to civil services ab nahi ho raha modi government is giving role to other services also even an ips can become the secretary now in ministry of homes defense people can also join the secretary level pehle nahi hota tha secretaries are always ias officers in all branches now things are getting getting better why because now we are a mature democracy the threat the we face during independence are no longer present तो रिफॉर्म तो जरूरी होता है क्लियर एवरीवन अब लेट्स सी थिएटराइजेशन आई टोल्ड यू इट इज बेसिकली इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ आर्मी एयरफोर्स एंड नेवी अंडर अ यूनिफाइड कमांड स्ट्रक्चर इन अ स्पेसिफिक ज्योग्राफिकल एरिया लाइक नॉर्थ कमांड साउथ कमांड ईस्ट कमांड वेस्ट कमांड अब एग्जांपल्स फॉर एग्जांपल यूएसए आल्सो हैज अ कमांड यूएस ऑलवेज हैड अ सीडीएस इंडिया नेवर हैड अ सीडीएस सीडीएस वाज ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट so united states have several theater command particularly you have united states central command and united state indo pacific command and i have told you the word indo pacific it used to be known as asia pacific command recently it was named indo pacific why because i told you in ir china is oh, sorry us is trying to balance china asia includes russia as well as china so having the word asia pacific means you are acknowledging russia and china as well having indo pacific means you are excluding russia and china 
from your world view and you are giving place that place to india this term china and russia hates a lot maine ko pehle hi bataya tha this is a term that china and russia hates a lot that's why i told you russia has even said that india is becoming a tool of american foreign policy russian foreign minister sergey lavrov openly said this ab to nahi bol raha because ukraine war is going on they need us for oil but earlier he openly said that india is becoming a tool of american foreign policy because we are adopting these kind of nomenclature hum bhi ab indo pacific bolte hain asia pacific nahi bolte hain clear to everyone so china has five theater commands northern theater whatever commands are not important just remember that us also has command system because us majority operations are always outside i told you to become a superpower you must have a peaceful neighbor us never worries ki if its all army soldiers are in afghanistan canada will attack from the north hame tension rehti hai ki if why india cannot take world adventures kyunki hum apne aap mein itne lage hue hain ki we are so involved self involved ki we do not have the bandwidth for future adventures or outside adventures majority of india's operation are within asia or majorly within south asia hamari zyada tar army border pe hi lagi rehti hai america ko ye problem nahi hai अमेरिका डज नॉट वरी की मैक्सिको विल अटैक फ्रॉम द साउथ और कैनेडा विल अटैक फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ तो इसके लिए जितने कमांड्स होते हैं वो हमेशा आउटसाइड कमांड होते हैं समझ में आया तो इसलिए हमेशा बोला इंडिया इफ रियली वांट टू बिकम अ सुपर पावर वी मस्ट हैव अ पीसफुल नेबरहुड जयशंकर करंट फॉरेन मिनिस्टर सेड दिस बट पाकिस्तान से वी कैन नॉट हैव फ्रेंडशिप ठीक है बिकॉज इफ पाकिस्तान से वी विल हैव फ्रेंडशिप फिर आप लोग बोलोगे खाने की बातें करने लगोगे यू विल बी लाइक टॉक अबाउट फूड टैक अबाउट जॉब ये हम नहीं चाहते will be keep on talking about pakistan next advantage of theaterization maine aapko samjhai diya plan for theater command ab who gave this recommendation please remember the latest committee was saketkar committee earlier kagal review committee narej chandra committee and group of minister all gave the recommendation but the recent recommendation is of saketkar committee saketkar committee was instrumental he proposed chief of defense staff role which we have created second thing he proposed was theater command so both suggestion of the saketar committee has been accepted by the modi government one effort has been implemented second effort we are trying to implement theek hai chaliye ab these are some command which we are contemplating dekhiye ab dekhiye hamare command kahan pe hai pakistan border ke liye jaipur mein china ke liye lakhnau mein aur maritime command karnataka mein so these are three separate commands that we are thinking of building इंप्लीमेंटेशन चैलेंजेस वही होते हैं इंडिया डज नॉट है दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम इंडिया ऑलवेज हैज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इट्स इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी एज वेल एज एक्सटर्नल सिक्योरिटी इंडिया नेवर टेक क्लियर स्टैंड दैट टू इन राइटिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल अमेरिका हैज समथिंग कॉल नेशनल सिक्योरिटी स्ट्रैटेजी द रिसेंटली रिलीज नेशनल सिक्योरिटी स्ट्रैटेजी अमेरिका रिलीज इज दैट एवरी फ्यू ईयर्स द लेटेस्ट रिलीज में अमेरिका हैज क्लियरली सैड दैट america's entire purpose in the world is to counter china clear shabdon mein likha hai no word means ki hum nahi karenge karenge clear cut hai nahi hona niklo theek hai india always india never have this we always neither say things we always neither accept things that is what they are saying have a proper national security strategy declare it to the world what you mean what your role is in the world what role you see for yourself सबको समझ में आया प्लीज रिमेंबर नेक्स्ट इज द थ्री फोर्स ओपन ये तो मैंने आपको बता ही दिया था दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंट्रोल दैट्स व्हाई वी आर क्रिएटिंग दिस ड्रामा चलिए इंडियाज करंट कमांड दीज आर सम कमांड यू डू नॉट नीड टू रिमेंबर देम जस्ट हैव अ जनरल आईडिया कोई नहीं पूछने वाला यूपीएससी में जस्ट हैव अ जनरल आईडिया दैट आर्मी हैज अ डिफरेंट कमांड फॉर डिफरेंट एरियाज सिमिलरली नेवी हैज ओनली थ्री कमांड ऑफ कोर्स नॉर्थ में देयर इज नो सी एयर फोर्स हैज सम कमांड्स Actually, fine. Apart from this, we have two integrated command even together. The one is Andaman Nicobar Command, and next is so India already has two integrated commands. One is for Andaman Nicobar's comprehensive security. Second is known as Strategic Force Command that commands India's nuclear weapon. स्ट्रेटेजिक फोर्स कमांड में देर टू पार्ट एग्जीक्यूटिव पार्ट एंड द पोलिटिकल पार्ट द पोलिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ द पोलिटिकल कमिटी इज हेडेड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया 
the executive committee is headed by national security advisor please remember who controls india's nuclear weapon national security advisor unlike pakistan where the army of pakistan control nuclear weapon india mein the weapons are under exclusive control of nuclear strategic force command it provides security control for this you have nuclear command authority iske liye aapke paas kya hai nuclear command authority the chief of this is national security advisor whenever the prime minister changes the national security advisor goes to the prime minister and give him the codes nuclear launch codes every prime minister when they changes it is the role of the new national security advisor to go to the prime minister make him understand where our nuclear assets are present what is the scenario what is where and what are the codes how you can launch them if required these all functions are support carried out by national security advisor the most powerful bureaucrat in entire india national security advisor is now a cabinet rank position मोदी गवर्नमेंट में कैबिनेट एक मत समझते हैं ही इज मोर पावरफुल देन एनी मिनिस्टर हिमसेल्फ एंड ही डायरेक्टली रिपोर्ट टू नो वन एक्सेप्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर तो दैट इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल ब्यूरोक्रेट इन इंडिया एज ऑफ नाउ क्लियर प्लीज रिमेंबर दीज थिंग्स चलिए नेक्स्ट न्यूज पर आते हैं नेक्स्ट इज स्टेट ऑफ फूड सेफ्टी क्वेश्चन मार्क पता नहीं किसने लगाया स्टेट ऑफ फूड सेफ्टी इंडेक्स क्या सॉरी ये हमारा ही है भाई देसी है देसी ठर रहा है टेंशन ना लो द स्टेट फूड सेफ्टी इंडेक्स इट हैज बीन रिलीज बाय फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया सो दिस इज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फॉर प्रिलिम्स हु हैज पब्लिश दिस इंडेक्स एफएसएसआई ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर इट एम्स टू असेस द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ various state in relations to different aspects of food safety basically in this index the fssai is trying to give ratings to different state regarding food security and these are the some indicator they you are using human resource and institutional data compliance infrastructure surveillance of food testing training capacity building and consumer empowerment don't need to remember them just have a general idea ठीक है एब्सुलट नहीं है बट डू रिमेंबर वट इज दिस इंडेक्स हु पब्लिश दिस इंडेक्स एंड वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ द इंडेक्स इट इज रिलीज एट द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ एनुअली मतलब एवरी ईयर इट इज रिलीज बाय एफ एस एस सी आई नोटेबली द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एडिशन हैज अ न्यू पैरामीटर नोन एज इंप्रूवमेंट मीन्स बेस्ड ऑन प्रीवियस ईयर हाउ मच यू हैव इंप्रूव this year that is a logic let's see the key finding the kerala has claimed the top position of the index with punjab and tamil nadu following closely behind so kerala is whatever a small state mein goa a small state mein goa has secured the first position with manipur and sikkim uh, just behind among union territory jammu kashmir delhi and chandigarh has the first second and थर्ड प्लेस मुझे नहीं पता दिल्ली को इसने दिल्ली को इसने क्यों डाला यहाँ पे खाना मिलता तो है हर तरह का बट पता नहीं हाइजीन शायद उन्होंने कहीं दिखा होगा सो ठीक है वट एवर देखिए ऑलवेज रिमेंबर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द पैरामीटर यू चूज इज रैंकिंग चेंज अब उनके पैरामीटर भी तो अलग से हैं यहाँ पे हाइजीन वर्ड इस्तेमाल हुआ था क्या पैरामीटर में तो इसमें हाइजीन छोड़ के सब कुछ उन्होंने चेक कर लिया ठीक है so, चलिए फाइन जो भी है थोड़ा बहुत याद रखिएगा द वर्स्ट ड्रॉप वर्स इन इन महाराष्ट्र तभी ये बोला उसने झूठ है उसे साफ बोल दिया दिल्ली सेकेंड एंड महाराष्ट्र में वर्स्ट ड्रॉप हुआ है ठीक है फूड सेफ्टी में चलिए तो एफ एस एस आई का प्लीज रिमेंबर फ्यू पॉइंट इट इज अटेटरी बॉडी स्टैब्लिश अंडर फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड एक्ट टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इट इज अ statutory statutory means made by a law of parliament or state legislature the way you have constitutional bodies which are made under the constitution directly theek hai baaki aapko pata hi hai it provide it regulates it provide licenses to food business 
इट कैरी आउट फूड सेफ्टी स्टैंडर्ड इन इंडिया वट एवर छोड़ो ठीक है स्मॉल न्यूज प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट अब है इसे स्पेल पता नहीं कैसे करते हैं ब्लैचले डेक्लरेशन लेट सी वट इट इज अच्छा हाँ इट इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इंपॉर्टेंट समिट रिसेंटली समिट हैज टेकन प्लेस ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन यूके नेक्स्ट आई थिंक कहीं और पे है अब वट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वी ऑल नो दीज आर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम दैट कैन परफॉर्म टास्क दैट आर टिपिकली रिक्वायर ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस लाइक प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग लर्निंग एंड दिस इज मेकिंग बट इवन करेंट ए आई कुड नॉट क्लियर यूपीएससी प्रिलिम्स आप सबको पता ही होगा ठीक है तो बिकॉज मैंने आपको बताया यूपीएससी प्रिलिम्स इज ऑल अबाउट द लैंग्वेज गेम और लैंग्वेज मैनिपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा होता है आई कैन गारंटी द करेंट चैट जीपीटी वट एवर दे कैन क्लियर स्टेट प्रिलिम्स इजिली स्टेट का एग्जाम वो इजिली निकाल लेंगे बिकॉज स्टेट एग्जाम आर वेरी सिंपल दे पुट अ लाइन दे गिव फोर ऑप्शन एंड दैट इज वेरी फैक्चुअल यूपीएससी यूज ए कॉन्विक यूपीएससी यूज कॉम्प्लेक्स लैंग्वेज उसमें इधर उधर वर्ड एड करती रहती है शैल मे इट दे ठीक है मस्ट वर्ड तो लैंग्वेज मैनिपुलेशन आर इन्वॉल्व और ए आई बेचारा शरीफ उसे कहा समझ में आएगा लैंग्वेज मैनिपुलेशन ठीक है बिकॉज ह्यूम में दीज आर टेंडेंसी ना वी ऑल्सो से समथिंग इन सरकैजम वेन वी से समथिंग वी मीन समथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल आज तुम बहुत ही बढ़िया लग रहे हो यार बस सबको पता है तुम कहना क्या चाहते हो बट ए आई को क्या लगेगा ए आई को लगेगा यार तुम तो वाकई में बढ़िया लग रहे हो ठीक है चलिए थैंक यू चलो मैं ए आई हूं मैं मान लेता हूँ बातें ठीक है इट इनकम पास इज मशीन लर्निंग डीप लर्निंग नेचुरल लैंग्वेज वट एवर अब मेन क्वेश्चन वाई रेगुलेशन रेगुलेशन इसलिए बिकॉज देखिए ए आई इज अ डेंजर अब स्टीफन हॉकिन सैड दिस ह्यूमैनिटी हैज अ प्रॉब्लम दे ऑलवेज ट्राई टू फाइंड देयर एंड ही सैड ह्यूमैनिटी हैज अ प्रॉब्लम दे ऑलवेज ट्राई टू फाइंड देयर एंड जैसे वी आर फाइंडिंग अवर क्रिएटर सिंस बिगिनिंग वी आर ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू फाइंड वेन वी विल एंड ए आई ही बिलीव विल बी द एंड ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी बिकॉज इट कैन डोमिनेट अब देखा कितनी मूवी बन गई है दैट यू मे हैव सीन दैट टर्मिनेटर टाइप ऑफ मूवीज एंड ऑल ड्रामा इफ यू हैव सीन नेटफ्लिक्स दे इज अ सीरीज ऑन ए आई टेक्नोलॉजी मुझे याद नहीं रहा समथिंग ब्लैक समथिंग का मुझे याद नहीं रहा वेरी ब्रिलियंट नहीं काफी बढ़िया उसमें टेक्नोलॉजी हाउ टेक्नोलॉजी इज अब्यूज एंड यूज एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ थ्रेट्स इज प्रोजेस बहुत अच्छा दिखाया हुआ है बट नन लेस सो द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट वी हैव इज एथिकल डिलेमास मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बायस इन अलगोरिदम जॉब डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड प्राइवेसी वॉलेशन ए आई नोज एवरीथिंग फॉर अबाउट यू एंड रिसेंट में इफ यू नो Uh, facebook was experimenting with ai system uh, they gave them some standard wording but what happened is after two to three rounds of negotiation between two ai system they started communicating in some other language so the language set that facebook gave to those system they were using some other words ab facebook ko pata nahi laga ki other word aaye kahan se by that's how evolution worked aaj hum jis bhi language for example we speak hindi हिंदी इवॉल्व आउट ऑफ न्यूमस लैंग्वेज कभी संस्कृत होती थी फिर वो सबसे पहले प्राकृत हुआ करती थी एंशियन स्ट्रीम आप पढ़ेंगे प्राकृत वगैरह लैंग्वेजेस थी ये ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू संस्कृत और वट एवर देन ओवर टाइम यू हैव हिंदी अब ये लैंग्वेज अब नई लैंग्वेज आ रही है इंग्लिश ठीक है हिंदी और इंग्लिश कम्बाइंड ठीक है तो दीज थिंग इवॉल्व एन इवोल्यूशन इज द सिंबल दैट यू आर अ इंटेलिजेंट क्रीचर इंटेलिजेंट क्रीचर मेक समथिंग दैट इज नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग so those two ai system when they were communicating with each other they start using words that were not given them as a set it means they were manufacturing new words so immediately facebook ne wo system ko band kar diya theek hai wo ek alag baat hai same thing happened recently in usa ab it is not verified yet but the uh, usa mein they were uh, they were uh, practicing a simulation simulation aap dekhte ho simulation for example aajkal uh, most of the trainings are carried out in simulation like pilot training सिमुलेशन सिम्स जिन्हें बोलते हैं हम अब सिमुलेशन में देवर प्रैक्टिसिंग एन एआई सिस्टम दैट एआई सिस्टम वाज बीइंग गिवन कमांड टू किल अ पर्टिकुलर टारगेट अब द ऑपरेटर ऑफ द एआई सिस्टम द सिमुलेशन ऑपरेटर ही वाज स्टॉपिंग दैट एआई फ्रॉम टारगेटिंग द इनोसेंट्स बिकॉज़ एआई को इफ यू आर गिविंग अ टारगेट टू किल तो ही डजंट केयर ही हैज टू अचीव द ऑब्जेक्टिव बिकॉज़ एआई डज नॉट हैव इमोशंस इमोशंस सेपरेट्स यू फ्रॉम एवरीथिंग When you, for example, try to kill someone, if I remove emotions from you, तो आप तो किसी को भी मार दोगे, because that anxiety that develops within you, 
that stops you from doing bad thing up that ai in turn kill the operator that ai operator was stopping the ai from killing the innocent targets he was so god disturbed he was like pehle teko bajaunga main and he and he killed the operator itself thank god it was a simulation agar wo real life practice ho rahi hoti to ai to gaya tha wo operator so it shows the threat of evolution of ai we we have limitations we get tired what we have achieved in millions of years the ai can achieve within a year because it never get tired it can do calculation rapid pace and it can work 24/7 these are the ethical concerns that we have on ai that's why this summit took place this summit is on ai safety sabko samajh mein aaya what are the problem we are having theek hai so we know there is a responsibility of errors and accident vulnerable to malicious use aur uh, iska acha istemal bhi hota for example israel used this israel killed the top scientist of iran how they killed this very precise attack what they did is they had a truck truck mein they have a ai mounted gun a gun mounted by ai not controlled by human that was ai mounted it was given a picture fed to the system they were the scientists were traveling in a car with a security and wife alongside that system identify the scientist top scientist of uh, iranian nuclear program it fired and it the action uh, was so precise that his wife sitting beside her not her only the scientist was killed it was so precise attack agar normally if army goes into attack collateral damage hamesha hota hai but it was so precise it killed the target and then it self exploded taki wo technology haath na lage so that it achieved the objective and it killed itself ab क्योंकि वो इट एक्सप्लोडेड तो कोई प्रूव नहीं कर पाया वो इसराइल का पर सबको पता है कि इट वाज इसराइल्स एजेंडा टू किल दैट पर्सन तो दीज आर द कंसर्न दैट वी हैव वुलनरेबल टू मेलिशियस यूज बिकॉज़ अगेन रिमेंबर एआई डज नॉट हैव इमोशंस अब मान लेते हैं बशर अल असद टाइप ऑफ पीपल या अल कायदा टाइप ऑफ पीपल हैव एआई तो दे आर लाइक लॉन्च शुरू हो जाओ इनडिस्क्रिमिनेटली किल एनीवन हु कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू these are the big concern that's why stephen hawkins and humanity has a problem of finding its own end that is kon hai kar rahe nahi of course they are having but a concern hai na because aapke parents bhi to aapko hire karte hain aapko paida karte hain khilate pilate hain fir aap unse hi bakwas karte ho aapko kya pata hai duniya ke bare mein when you can debate and discuss you can argue with your parents call them backwards and imagine ai वो तो छूटते बोल देगा तुम तो पैसे एक्सपायर्ड लोगो ठीक है चलिए फाइन दीज कंसर्न वी हैव सो ए आई सेफ्टी में पर्टिकुलरली इट हैज ब्रॉड ट्वेंटी सेवन एज ऑफ नाउ इट इज ब्रॉड टेक्नोलॉजी एक्सपर्ट ग्लोबल लीडर डेलीगेट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेवन कंट्री एंड द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस मीटिंग वॉज टू फोकस ऑन ए आई सेफ्टी हाउ वी कैन डेवलप नॉर्म हाउ वी कैन डेवलप रेगुलेशन सो दैट ए आई डज नॉट हर्ट एनी वन ठीक है एंड इट टुक प्लेस इन this park it was a headquarter of code breaker during second world war code breaker is you go idea what is this code breaker reference alan turing computing alan turing he was a gay so he was rewarded by britain for defeating germans by a forceful death so he alan turing he was a brilliant man he basically devised uh, but, uh, germans germans were communicating in a encrypted device system ending ma something mujhe yaad nahi aa raha uska naam so they were communicating in a encrypted system and no but the allied forces including uk they were finding hard to decode ab this person alan turing he developed a system which could decode the german signals and that's how the allied force knew where the german are likely to attack and that's how they won the war Alan Turing is a very important part of the war that Britain fought in Second World War. Then he was rewarded. I told you he was gay. And Christianity, me there is a problem. I told you Christianity believes. हमने previous class में I believe हमने करा था natural sex के बारे में 377. That is British law. So they rewarded him by a punishment. ठीक है forcefully giving him medication because India में भी people believe that homosexuality is a mental disease. उस समय में Britain में भी ये believe था. And Christianity is very much against homosexuality. so he was rewarded by a punishment he ultimately i think he commits suicide or something so this was the thing the person who won the war for you was rewarded as soon as the work is done chalo beta maro ab theek hai so that's why the word here is code breaker he is popularly known is pop culture as 
कोड ब्रेकर चलिए एनी वे साउथ कोरिया विल हैड द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट ए आई समिट विल टेक प्लेस इन साउथ कोरिया एंड आफ्टर दैट फ्रेंच चलिए सिग्निफिकेंस आप समझ ही जाइए गुलेबल कोलेबरेशन वगैरह पढ़ लेना है यार थोड़ा बस लेट सी इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एफर्ट ऑन ए आई ये जरूर देख लेते हैं इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एफर्ट्स ऑन ए आई लेट सी नंबर वन इज इंडिया ए आई बट इज इज इंडिया ए आई ड्रामा इट इज अ नेशनल ए आई पोर्टल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विच इज कैरिंग आउट स्टडीज इंक्लूडिंग राउंड टेबल डिस्कशन विद लीडिंग फिगर इन द फील्ड ऑफ ए आई बेसिकली ए आई पॉलिसी गवर्नेंस एंड मतलब काइंड ऑफ वट द मीटिंग वॉज डूइंग वी हैव अ पोर्टल फॉर दैट इंडिया ए आई नेक्स्ट एफर्ट ग्लोबल पार्टनरशिप ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस जी पाए इंडिया इज रिसेंटली ज्वाइन दिस तो इंडिया अलॉन्ग विद अदर फिफ्टीन कंट्रीज है फॉर्मड जी पाए टू स्टैब्लिश फ्रेमवर्क फॉर रिस्पॉन्सिबल यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी अब हिपोक्रेसी रन विद एवरी वन तो इसके लिए साइबर वर्ल्ड में दे इज अ प्रॉब्लम यू विल स्टडी दैट इन इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी साइबर साइबर सिक्योरिटी इज अ प्रॉपर चैप्टर इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इन साइबर सिक्योरिटी इज वी डू नॉट है इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन बिकॉज वी डू नॉट है इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन तो वी डू नॉट नो हाउ द रूल्स ऑफ वॉर अप्लाई एंड देर वॉज अ ग्रुप ऑफ देर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स सॉरी ग्रुप ऑफ पार्टीज टू स्टेट यूनाइटेड नेशन सेक्रेटरी जनरल he appointed a commission to analyze the cyber world i think it was in 2010 that commission gave a report and they highlighted one thing that every country in this world is upgrading their technical skills but not for defensive purposes but for offensive purposes because nowadays i told you na ha pe guess is one example is rally software nowadays i told you mental control works through digital media डिजिटल मीडिया से आई कैन मेक यू बिलीव वर्चुअली एनी थिंग ऑन अर्थ दैट्स हाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल अमेरिका द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट एडवांस कंट्री विच हैज लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मनी इट हैज सीन द लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ पीपल डाइंग इन कोरोना वाई बिकॉज दे हैड एन ईडियट इन पावर डोनाल्ड ट्रंप हु सैड दैट कोरोना इज अ चाइनीज होक्स एंड इट वॉज एम्पलीफाइड बाय सोशल मीडिया and that he the people who should be scared should be using precaution against corona they were rejecting mask they were rejecting vaccines and that is what can be done so cyber world mein everyone is doing this misinformation dekhiye israel war shuru ho gayi there so many misinformation us media is propagating side of israel qatari media the particularly the middle eastern media they are propagating the side of hamas the middle eastern thinks that israel is the evil the remaining people who are controlled by english language they think hamas is the evil so mental information control is going on iske liye it is very important that we have some international law regarding war use of ai because cyber security is theek hai ai is even more dangerous because it may not be controlled by a human being sabko samajh mein aaya theek hai that's why we have this partnership next national strategy for artificial intelligence it's aim to develop ecosystem for research and adoption of artificial intelligence <laughs> next is national national mission on interdisciplinary cyber physical system all these are government effort please remember them uh, what is this cyber physical system uh, nowadays you have uh, systems which are physical but controlled by virtual world jaise for example aapne haptic suits ka naam suna hoga sir maine pehle kabhi bataya ho haptic suits kabhi sune hai haptic suits is something that you can wear from top to bottom they have pressure sensors theek hai they are connected that suit entire suit that you wear from top to bottom is connected through an internet medium and other person on other side can wear the same suit and then you can behave for example if i touch your hand so the sensors on your hand they communicate to your brain something is touching here and you remember this kind of touch so your brain decodes okay it is a hand touching my hand same thing happens there when you for example try to touch somebody's hand that pressure sensor on the suit will communicate to other person who may be living out in other country that person will feel in his or her hand that you are touching them these are called haptic suits and they are being developed these are called cyber physical system 
इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ साइबर वर्ल्ड एंड फिजिकल वर्ल्ड ड्रोन एक और एग्जाम्पल है ड्रोन ड्रोन में क्या होता है ऑपरेटर सिटिंग इन प्रॉपर सिक्योर लैब एंड ही इज ऑपरेटिंग अ ड्रोन फ्रॉम अ लैब एंड द ड्रोन बिहेव एज इफ समबडी इज ड्राइविंग द ड्रोन फ्रॉम द देयर सेम साइबर फिजिकल सिस्टम दीज ऑल सिस्टम आर नोन एज साइबर फिजिकल सिस्टम तो फॉर दिस वी हैव अ प्रोग्राम नेशनल मिशन ऑन इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी साइबर फिजिकल सिस्टम इसके तहत हम क्या स्टैब्लिश कर रहे हैं स्टैब्लिशिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन हब्स इन वेयर इन आई आई टी इन आई आई टीज वी आर ट्राइंग टू स्टैब्लिश इनोवेशन हब वेयर वी विल डेवलप आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस देर यूज ऑफ साइबर फिजिकल वर्ल्ड एंड ऑल ड्रामा लास्ट वी हैव इज दिस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस रिसर्च एनालिटिक्स नॉलेज असिमुलेशन प्लेटफॉर्म छोटा सा नाम है बहुत ठीक है इट बेसिकली प्रोवाइड्स क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म वट इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग मैं फिर बोल रहा हूँ टेक्नोलॉजी में यूपीएससी आस डेली लाइफ क्वेश्चन यूपीएससी ने पूछा हुआ है क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट मीन द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग देर फोर ऑप्शन वट इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग हर कोई क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग की बात करता है लेकिन आपने कभी सोचा वट इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग मैं फिर कह रहा हूँ Any technology that you are using na, please remember its definition. Detail मत जानिएगा but have some general idea. And majority of UPSC question in science and technology comes from daily life. जैसे it has asked recently इस बार देखिए question किस पे आया था fish tank पे किसने fish tank नहीं देखा होगा अब तुमने कभी सोचा नहीं वो work कैसे करता है इस बार fish tank पे आया mobile में आप सब ने use करा होगा when you flip the mobile the screen changes उस पे question आया था that which sensor is used in that कार में सबको पता है एयर बैग होते हैं उस पर क्वेश्चन आया था कि ऑन व्हाट सेंसर द एयर बैग वर्क सो दीज थिंग्स यू ऑल हैव सीन इन द वर्ल्ड सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग सम टेक्निकल टर्म प्लीज नो इट इफ यू आर यूजिंग मोबाइल तो यू नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ओएस इट इज डिटेल नहीं जानना है जनरल आइडिया कि व्हाट इज एंड्रॉइड वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एंड्रॉइड एंड आई एस माइन्यू डिफरेंस जर्नलिस्टिक डिफरेंस नॉट टेक्निकल डिटेल्स वट इज फाइव What is the technical standard of 5G? It has some speed criteria. It has some other criteria. I think everyone uses metro cards. कभी सोचा उन वर्ड टेक्नोलॉजी इट वर्क्स किस टेक्नोलॉजी पे वर्क करता है मेट्रो कार्ड? NFC पे. NFC पे क्वेश्चन आया था UPSC में. That which of the following statement are true about NFC? Everyone uses metro card. पर आपने कभी सोचा नहीं वो किस पे वर्क करता है? NFC पे UPSC में क्वेश्चन आया था. Same thing cloud computing. क्या होता है cloud computing? इतनी बकायती के बाद अब तो बता दो. क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग द डेफिनेशन दैट इज प्रॉपरली यूपीएससी यूजेस इट्स अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नेटवर्क ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स प्रोवाइडिंग अ सर्विसेज एट अ पॉइंट सिंपली स्टेटिंग मतलब देर लॉट ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स हाँ सेम बात आपने बोली देर आर लॉट ऑफ कंप्यूटर फिजिकल कंप्यूटर्स विच आर जैसे पता नहीं किसका इंटरव्यू हो रहा था कोई आई एस आई पी एस पता नहीं कौन था there was some person from the government of india somebody was interviewing and they asked him this question of cloud com so he was talking about technology he has like for example dekhiye cloud computing develop ho gaya now all the data you have is stored in the cloud itself theek hai then you access them from mobile aise aise log hai yaar kya bolu ab modi ji ne bhi to bola tha i sent airplanes in balakot mujhe laga cloud hai to catch nahi honge wo ठीक है फाइन बट प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ये क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग समझ में आया क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नेटवर्क ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स दैट प्रोवाइड सर्विसेज एट वन डेटा पॉइंट जैसे योर डेटा इज स्टोर्ड इन नंबर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड व्हेन यू एक्सेस दैट ऑन गूगल प्लेटफॉर्म यू आर एक्चुअली एक्सेसिंग अ कंप्यूटर समवेयर एल्स इन द वर्ल्ड समथिंग यू कॉल डेटा सर्वर्स ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट टर्म चलिए फाइन ये आपके लिए था आगे देखते हैं अगला क्या है ओ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फार्म प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट UPSC mains mein always ask uh, whatever it ask from agriculture and food processing is equivalent to entire economics UPSC ask equivalent amount of question from entire economics 11 or 12 chapters and one chapter say it ask equivalent questions it has equal weightage to entire economics so never discount agriculture know every issue in detail in agriculture ठीक है इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेंस के लिए पर्टिकुलरली प्रीलिम्स में इतना नहीं आता प्रीलिम्स एग्रीकल्चर इज नॉट वेरी मच आस्क क्वेश्चन बट मेंस में इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो फार्म सॉरी फार्मर्स प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट इज द ड्रामा गोइंग ऑन
So over the past few years, farmer producer organization have addressed the issue of the big problem. Hai ye. What happened in India during medieval time and then British time had something called Zamindari. Sabko pata hai, Zamindari kaise evolve hua tha? Because during Mughal time, you had a system known as Ijardari. Ijardari means you will sell the right to collect revenue to the highest bidder. You will sell the right to collect revenue to the highest bidder. And that basically evolved from Mansabadari. So the first system that was existing in India is Mansab, Mansabdari. Mansabdari is exactly what you have today. For example, you become an IS officer, so you are given some facility like a bungalow, car, whatever you are given. These are called Mansab. Mansab means you get a facility according to your rank. During Mughal period, you when you were given a charge, so you were given a territory to govern, something you call Nawab. How Nawabi system came in India? Because Mughal were the emperor, a, bhai, a big emperor cannot control entire India. It's a big land. So they used to appoint governor, something you call governor today. At that point of time, Nawabs. So Mughal empire used to appoint some Nawabs. For example, Nawab of Hyderabad, Junagar. They were appointed. They were working under the king, that is the Mughal emperor. But they were given a land to govern and to pay taxes to the Mughals. This is called Mansabdari. Mansabdari, Mansab means rank. It's Arabic word for rank. So according to your rank, you are given a land to govern, collect revenue and give to the state. Uh, the thing was, all the Nawabs that you know, Hyderabad or whatever, they got the property under Mansabdari. So would they continue the system under their rule? Never. Because they knew. We came to become the Nawab of, for example, I came to become the Nawab of Hyderabad because of Mansabdari of Mughal Emperor. If I also appoint a Mansabdar, blow me. And if my future generations are weak, so that person will carve a separate territory. That would happen when Mughal Empire started to decline all these Nawabs became independent. So Mansab Dari converted into absolute kingship. You became king by Mansab Dari. So you will never have this system. So they created the system known as Ijar Dari. What is an Ijar Dari? Mansab Dari mein as your rank, as your property. Ijar Dari mein there is no fixed property. Whosoever bid the highest, that person will be given the property. It means Every year, there will be a new landlord. No one will have a command. Something Nawab had. And this system was continued by Baron Hastings for some time. But Britishers were unable to get good revenue. So they changed the system to finally permanent settlement. Permanent settlement in which the Britishers will appoint a Zamindar. And that Zamindar has only one responsibility. He will give to the Britishers a fixed amount. Now, how much money the farmer takes, the government has no meaning. If the government says, give me 10 crore rupees per annum, now they do not care whether you are taking 20 crore, 30 crore, 40 crore, I don't care. Or you may be getting 8 crores. I need every year 10 crore. Chahiye chahiye. That is called permanent settlement. I think Cornwall is the time for this time. I don't remember the name of So this is the evolution of system. This permanent settlement, Led to the creation of Zamindari. Sabko hai, Zamindari kaise evolve Ab when India got independence, we started land reforms. The land reforms were aimed to demolish Zamindari. Ab the purpose of land reform was taking land from Zamindars and give to the lower caste and landless laborers. But that did not went to them. Pehle bhi aapko bataya tha. The entire land went to intermediate caste. Something today you call OBCs. Now what has happened is over time, over time as you are born, you have kids, they are they divide the property, then their kids divide the property, then their kids divide the property. Because of this, land holding in India is shrinking. Land held by one person is shrinking. And for this purpose, up for example, Malata, you have a small land. This is my mention. Please look at this. Here, see the status of 
एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया इसको भी मैं डिटेल में डिस्कस करूंगा द एग्रीकल्चर सेंसस 2015-16 ये लास्ट था करंट सेंसस इज गोइंग ऑन एवरी फाइव ईयर और सो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कंडक्ट एग्रीकल्चर सेंसस इन विच इट गेट्स द स्टेटस ऑफ वट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया अब देखिए वट इट हाईलाइट प्लीज रिमेंबर विच हु कंडक्ट दिस ये जरूर याद रखेगा इसको शॉर्ट में हम कहते हैं डीएसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड कॉपरेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर दिस दैट डीएसी कंडक्ट्स समथिंग कॉल्ड एग्रीकल्चर सेंसस एवरी फाइव ईयर मे बी अर्लियर बट जनरली एवरी फाइव ईयर द लास्ट वन वाज कंडक्टेड इन 2015-16 द करंट सेंसस इज बीइंग कंटिन्यूड बिकॉज कोरोना केम तो इट गॉट डिलेड अब व्हाट इट सेज इट सेज the total number of operational holdings operational holding means on which a farmer is working that holdings in the countries have increased it it's a good news or bad news dobara padhiye mujhe bataiye nahi jo bhi aapko lage good news or bad news hai are main puch raha hu kya thoda gadbad hogi ho sakta hai godi ho dekh lo what do you think online people हाँ यस वो हम टैप एंड पे उसी पे वर्क करता है यस इट्स अ बैड न्यूज दोबारा पढ़िए क्या लिखा है देखिए टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशनल होल्डिंग्स इन कंट्री हैज इंक्रीज टोटल नंबर ऑफ फंक्शनल कंट्रोल इंक्रीज इट मींस मोर नंबर ऑफ पीपल आर हैविंग स्मॉलर पैच ऑफ लैंड शेयर होल्डर ज्यादा है इट्स अ बैड न्यूज बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू हैव अ लार्ज पैच ऑफ लैंड सो यू कैन ग्रो डिफरेंट क्रॉप you can grow rice in one place wheat some vegetables some pulses advantage in one season all crops will fail aisa kabhi nahi hota maan lete hain out of six crops that you sow in a large piece of land two crops fail or maybe four crop fails then two crops say you will recover the money for survival it works as a insurance guarantee but when you have a small land holding you can at most grow one crop and then you are dependent on environment if that crop fails you are done and that's why majority of farmers in india are under severe debt you hear na every year the farmer has committed this suicide india mein abhi bhi i think every day around 7 to 8 farmers commit suicide kis cheez ka reason kis cheez ka reason isme adjustment kis cheez ka readjustment kaise readjustment kiya कह रहे हो क्या ठीक है एक मिनट देखते हैं अभी क्यों एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया अच्छा वाले यू आर सेइंग दैट फार्म गवर्नमेंट वाज सेइंग यू हैव सम एक्स्ट्रा लैंड एंड दे वर लाइक इट मे और मे नॉट बी फर्टाइल चलिए ठीक है फाइन दैट वाज वन कॉज फिलहाल यहाँ देखते हैं यहाँ तक समझ आया था इंक्रीज लैंड होल्डिंग इज इंक्रीजिंग वाइट इज इंक्रीजिंग बिकॉज एज यू आर हैविंग मोर किड्स एंड दोज किड्स आर नॉट एबल टू गेट जॉब हमने प्रीवियस समझा था स्ट्रक्चरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट लीडिंग टू डिस एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट वेन यू आर एबल टू हैव द स्किल्स टू गेट अ गुड जॉब इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और सर्विसेज यू गो टू फार्मिंग एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस यू आर बिकमिंग अ बर्डन ऑन द फार्म फैक्टर सो अ फैमिली एज सिक्स पीपल ऑल आर वर्किंग ऑन सेम फार्म सो यू आर हाईली इन सिक्योर पर्सन यहाँ तक समझ में आया and the one reason is you have a small land holding that is what it highlights second thing dekhiye total operated area in country has decreased means total area under farming has decreased but number of land holdings have increased it means more and more farmers are becoming small farmers and small farming is unproductive and very much conditional agar ek bhi crop fail hua then you are done that's why there is a too much pressure on the government for msp also ठीक है सेकंड पॉइंट द एवरेज साइज ऑफ ऑपरेशन लैंड होल्डिंग इन इंडिया इज डिक्लाइन टू तो सी द एवरेज साइज इज ओनली 1.08 हेक्टेयर इट्स वेरी स्मॉल दिस इज द एवरेज साइज ऑफ एवरेज लैंड होल्डिंग इन इंडिया अब पता नहीं अगले सेंसस में हो सकता है इससे भी कम हो जाए ठीक है पॉइंट एट भी हो सकती है चलिए नेक्स्ट इज इट्स इज अ गुड थिंग द परसेंटेज ऑफ शेयर ऑफ फीमेल ऑपरेशन लैंड होल्डर्स हैव इंक्रीज तो ठीक है ये गुड न्यूज है नेक्स्ट the small and marginal land holders the small and marginal land Hello. holders mean who have up to 2 hectare yes ashneet boliye 
सर व्हाट इज एमएसपी एमएसपी ओके इकोनॉमिक्स में दैट विल बी टॉट मैं बता देता हूं एमएसपी इज द मिनिमम प्राइस ऑफ प्रोक्योरमेंट अश्योर्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट फॉर फार्मर्स ठीक है इट हैज डिफरेंट इश्यूज वो फिर कभी मौका लगेगा तो करेंगे हां सो द स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल लैंड होल्डिंग्स इन इंडिया मींस हु इज द स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर पिलिम्स के लिए प्लीज रिमेंबर अप टू टू हेक्टेयर दे कॉन्स्टिट्यूट 86% of indian farming this all this survey this census clearly highlights that indian farming system is in severe stress because of small land holdings or be reasons but prime reason is small land holding up in this context we have this in this context what government is trying to do is fpos what is fpo it is a legal entity established by primary producers including farmers milk producer fishermen weavers rural artisan and craftsmen every single line here is very important please remember them fpo can be registered as cooperatives under state cooperatives act farmer produce company under companies act of the parliament of india ya fir societies under society registration act so farmer producer organization what are they they are a collective of farmers which may be recognized as a cooperative as a company or as a society under three different laws and their only purpose they serve matlab well, prime purpose other purpose are also there the prime purpose is bringing the farmers together in a cooperativized mechanism to increase effective land holding fir samjhiye if you have a bigger land maan lete six farmers come together and they join their land everyone has 2 hectares so now you have 12 hectares six farmers 12 hectares in that 12 hectares you can grow different crops chances that all crops will fail is zero some crops will always survive or maybe all can survive maan lete all six crops you so survive up that six crops say you will earn disproportionate wages disproportionate profit distribute them among yourself then collect a part you alone can invest for example 10000 in your farm you six people together can invest 60000 so 60000 say you can buy costly machine this is the significance that the farmers come together into operational land holding they can divide profit they can also divide the cost of production they can buy new technology they can go for better marketing and everyone will have different skills somebody may be a good farming person other person has some knowledge may have an agriculture degree he can provide in uh, he can provide technological inputs he can say do not do flood farming let's do sprinkler irrigation sabko samajh mein aa raha hai so operational land holding if you combine them together it will deal with a lot of problems you face in farming ab reason bahut hai ego bhi ho sakta hai aur bhi reason hote hain let's see why they have failed so they mein dekhte hain to yahan tak sabko samajh mein aaya we have created a census the census tells us created conducted by dac that operational land holding in india have increased decreased to 1.08 hectare 86% of india's farmers are small and marginal prelims ke liye these facts are important means ke liye to deal with this problem we are creating farmer produce organizations theek hai aage dekhte hain about agriculture sense maine aapko bata diya it is conducted around every 5 year not compulsory but generally it is conducted every 5 year ठीक है इन थ्री फेजेस एंड एच ईच फेज इज ऑफ वन ड्यूरेशन द करंट डेट कर द करंट सेंसस हैज स्टार्टेड इन 2022 हालांकि इसे स्टार्ट 20 में होना था बट बिकॉज़ कोरोना केम एंड इट गॉट डिलेड सो द करंट सेंसस इज नोन एज 11th एग्रीकल्चर सेंसस इट इज स्टार्टेड इन 2022 एंड द फर्स्ट फेज इज लाइकली टू एंड बाय दिस ईयर दिसंबर so i think by 2025 or 2026 you will have the data of this census so aapko to worry hai karne ki zarurat hai hi nahi theek hai you can continue with the old data theek hai fine ab let's see the significance i told you they facilitate land pooling land pooling will achieve very commonly economies of scale jaise maine aapko samjhaya you can reduce the cost of production you can increase profit you can distribute uh, the risks everything is efficient here second thing they enable in sharing of services obviously by the knowledge input somebody may be agriculture graduate some may have a kid who is agriculture graduate he can share the knowledge 
they can have better access to market they can have better access to loan also the bank will give more loan to six people coming together as a joint liability group rather than individual person because so, if you create an fpo so you have advantage of collective land you have advantage of reduced cost of production you have advantage of less chances of all crop failures you have chances of better access to marketing and most important you have chances of better loan taking capacity so it's a it's a win win solution for everything you can see this next of course value addition can be provided it can act as a market creator it can provide capital to farmer whatever whatever so basically it's a win win solution from all sides you can imagine so let's see what are the challenges then if it is so good then why it is not working everywhere because all executive members of fpo are farmers they are they are lacking something we call business acumen majority of the fpos have members who are farmers and ek cheez hamesha yaad rakhiye polity mein hota hai jise bolte hum iron law of oligarchy polity mein jisa concept called iron law of oligarchy which says it doesn't matter what kind of group you make there will always be one or two person in that group that will become the dominant person say for example you all come together meet first time in coaching institute university schools you make a friend circle out of over time maybe one year two year three year one or two person in that entire group will become so central to the group without them no party happens without them no plan happen if they cancel everything is cancelled that happens everywhere from your personal relation to the state level very good example aam aadmi party when aam aadmi party was created it had a lot of people of equal stature like kumar vishwas yogendra yadav ye aur bhi log the but over time kejriwal emerged as the dominant factor in aam aadmi party nowadays if you ask any one aam aadmi party so he will say or she will say kejriwal nobody knows there was a person called kiran bedi initially was also there kiran bedi uh, kya naam hai iska yogendra yadav all these people were present now only kejriwal is there this is called iron law of oligarchy and it always happens ranging from your personal relations to state Now this is the problem here. First problem is it is dominated by farmers who does not have something we call they understand farming well, they understand sideways well. But business is a big partner. Business ki the kind of strategy a business can have, they often lack it. I am not saying everyone. I am saying majority one. Okay. So if they create business plan, of course they can diversify and scale up. Second problem, as I told you. that private companies find fpo as a better source of procurement of course because fpo has a collective ownership they provide better control over quality but what is the biggest problem that only few fpos are linked with private companies so two problem first problem is that they are dominated by farmers who do, does not have business acumen second problem is a large number of fpos are not linked to companies who directly procure their produce a third problem maine aapko samjhaya tha that it is a problem of oligarchy that few farmers within that fpo become so dominant they dominate the entire fpo and when you dominate then you steer the fpo for your purpose not for everyone's purpose isliye kya hota the remaining farmer lose interest in fpo and they are like rather than having six farm together main akela hi farm chalaunga apna tumhare farm mein aana hi nahi clear चलिए फाइन सो नाउ लेट अस सी इनिशिएटिव हु प्रमोट्स एफपीओ सो देखिए सो फार व्हाट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एग्रीकल्चर लैंड होल्डिंग्स देन वी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज एफपीओ देन वी अंडरस्टूड हाउ दे आर रजिस्टर्ड देन वी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम विद एफपीओस नाउ वी आर सीइंग द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ गवर्नमेंट नंबर 1 इज स्मॉल फार्मर्स एग्री बिजनेस कंसोर्टियम शॉर्ट में एस एफ ए सी इट इज द नोडल एजेंसी एट नेशनल लेवल फॉर क्रिएशन ऑफ एफ पी ओ वट इट डज इट प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट टेक्निकल सपोर्ट फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट नॉलेज सपोर्ट टू फार्मर्स सो दैट दे कैन कम टूगेदर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एफ पी ओ नेक्स्ट इज नबार्ड आपको पता ही वट इज नबार्ड इट इज द आर बी आई ऑफ रूरल बैंकिंग बेसिकली nabard acts like rbi of rural banking it regulates the rural economy 
particularly related to agriculture. So NABARD also promotes FPO. So there are two organizations in India which promotes FPO. Number one is Small Farmers Agribusiness Consortium, which is a part of Ministry of Agriculture. SFAC is a part of Ministry of Agriculture. NABARD, which is made by a law of parliament, is a promoter, a regulator of rural economy. It also promotes FPO. Okay, please remember these two organizations. Up suggestions may we have FPO may adjoining land common produce per lena yaar thodo. Next is reference fuel. So please remember FPO wali news was very important. What is this reference fuel drama? India has commenced the production of reference petrol and reference diesel. Term yaad rakhiye, baaki isma kuch khas important hai nahi. Just remember the term itself. What is this reference fuel? Reference fuel are basically specialized high quality gasoline and diesel product who are designed for precise calibration. It is very good in terms of climate change, global warming and this pollution you see in Delhi. Uske kaafi kama sakta hai ye. So anyway, what are these key difference? Dekh lete se. Regular fuel aapko pata hai, that you have in petrol pumps and everything. There is something called octane number. They have octane number of around 87. Number important nahi hai, just remember ki they have a low octane number. And they are often suitable for everyday vehicles. Premium fuel. If you have gone to a petrol pump, they always have a tap which on which it is written premium fuel. Naam alag alag hote hai. Premium hota naam kahi pe XP bulate hai, kahi pe XP 95, 85, jo bhi hai. Name are different, but all are known as premium fuel. What is the difference there? They have a higher octane number. Regular fuel have a lower octane number. Higher premium fuel have a higher octane number. Octane number means they provide more consistency in burning. They provide more output. And that's why they are used for high performance vehicle like sports bike and sports car or luxury vehicles and cars on my normal fuel may they may not have good performance last is reference fuel it is even above premium fuel as of now it has a octane number more than 97 so we, we have three kind of that you have three kind of fuel normal fuel premium fuel and Reference fuel, reference fuel India is developing. Reference fuel has a highest octane number among all fuel. And India is starting to develop. We develop hua nahi hai. We are trying to develop it. And the advantage, it is better in terms of burning consistency, output, less pollution and all. Clear? Chaliye. Next news, move on. Kya hai next news? Oh, diphtheria. Science and tech, bimariya. Okay. So, WHO, the World Health Organization, has announced the reoccurrence or occurrence of diphtheria outbreak. And how, whenever there is a disease, they get anything that affects public is important in UPSC because UPSC is all about public policy. So, diseases in science and tech are very important. But when I say diseases, I am not talking about technical details. Detail mein nahi jana hai ki what are the symptoms? How are symptoms? Pata hai. Aisa nahi na. Just know few things like what is the disease? Is it communicable, non communicable? What are the bacteria, virus, fungi? What causes it? What are the symptoms? Ek do symptom yaad rakhye, and what could be the cause? Oh, sorry, what could be the treatment? That's it. A khaskar remember the disease which are very common like dengue, malaria. These are the diseases you hear every day in your life. So, in ke baare mein thoda sa idea please have. Okay. Let's see diphtheria. So it is caused by what? It is a bacterial disease. It is caused by kinobacterium diphtheriae. Basically a bacterial disease. Diphtheria, it is a severe and potentially life-threatening bacterial infection that primarily impacts mucous membrane of nose and throat. In some cases, it can affect skin. So just itna bhot hai. All you have to remember is diphtheria is a disease that often leads to a mucus generation in nose and throat and sometimes it affects skin. 
it is a bacterial disease and it could be life threatening if not treated bas is tarah detail ki zarurat hai nahi isme baaki dekhte symptoms to itna detail nahi chahiye but all remember jo abhi humne padha development of mucus in nose and throat with skin disease not always sometimes theek hai aur baaki dekhna ho to dekh lena next so what is the biggest problem in diphtheria because there are some people who may not have symptoms but they act as carrier ye problem hai iske sath jaise corona ke sath bhi yahi problem tha that corona mein a lot of people majority of the people in corona does not show symptoms but they act as a carrier same is the problem with diphtheria that you may have zero symptom or may even mild symptoms which you may think aapko fever aaya but actually mein aapko diphtheria hua hua tha ठीक है देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिजीज विच यू हैव बट आप छोटा मोटा टेबलेट खा लिया पीसीएम सीसीएम खा लिया काम चली गया बट यू मे एक्ट एज अ कैरियर देन यू मे नॉट गेट इल बट यू विल मेक अदर पीपल इल तो डिप्टेरिया कैन ऑल्सो मैनिफेस्ट मैंने आपको बताई दिया स्किन इन्फेक्शन रिजल्टिंग इन इतना डिटेल किसी नहीं किसी को नहीं चाहिए एंड डिप्टेरिया इज मोस्ट कॉमनली ऑब्जर्व इन ये इंपॉर्टेंट है ट्रॉपिकल क्लाइमेट्स एंड इंडिया ऑफकोर्स यू नो इज अ tropical climate with inadequate hygiene and crowded living condition like mumbai theek hai delhi to hai delhi bhi hai theek hai delhi mein hygiene to bahut hi badhiya hai theek hai chalo dekha ab ai ise nahi samajh pata chaliye complication of diphtheria quickly ab ye pad lena hai isme kya batauga mar mar jaoge aur kuch nahi hoga theek hai kidney problems hai peripheral neuropathy details nahi karna hai few things you have to remember what is diphtheria how it is caused two symptoms we know mucus in nose throat and some skin infection and most important thing then you need to know is how it shall be treated there are two ways of treating it throat culture and last is alex test or whatever it is theek hai throat culture mein we try to find the bacteria itself in this test we try to find the toxin produced by the bacteria itself a treatment how it is treated of course it is a bacteria so you can have antibiotics but with this comes another problem bacteria resistant diseases in india what is the problem in india we think antibiotics are like uh, some toffee we keep on eating them antibiotics are very dangerous because they works on bacteria and they also kill good bacteria also there are two kind of bacteria in the body ab the problem is they kill good also and second thing is For example, you have a viral fever. There is no point of taking antibiotic. By antibiotic, in name me, he biotic. It works against bacteria, not viruses. Then you, in a viral, if you are taking antibiotic, to virus, viral ka to kuch nahi hoga. But in the bacteria that you have in your body, they will evolve. So when you will have a bacterial disease, the antibiotic will not work. So you understand this is the biggest problem in India because we have something called self medication. गूगल बाबा आजकल बहुत कुछ बताते हैं ठीक है यू गूगल इट यू गो टू एनी मेडिकल शॉप डॉक्टर पे नहीं गए मेडिकल पे गए और वो मेडिसिन बढ़िया है जो तुरंत ट्रीट करती हो इफ यू गो टू अ प्रॉपर एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर दे गिव अ कोर्स मे बी फाइव सेवन डेज वाई दे गिव सेवन डेज कोर्स द रीजन इज टू किल द जम ऑल टूगेदर और आपने दो दिन खाई ठीक हो गया चलो भाई बाहर में जाए इससे प्रॉब्लम होता है वेन यू आर ईटिंग फॉर टू और थ्री डेज इट डाउन द सिम्टम but it does not kill kill the bacteria or the virus itself so what happens that bacteria and virus get amplify something we call evolution so when next time you will get ill with the same disease so the current dose will not work on you mali the right now you require three tablets three days next time you will require four tablets maybe 10 days or there is a limit of remember there is a limit of antibacterial medicines After two or three stage, there is no antibiotic. फिर तो मौत भगवान ही आपको बचाएंगे वो कहते हैं ना कुछ लोग डॉक्टर कहते हैं इसका दवा से कुछ नहीं होगा दुआ चाहिए ठीक है सो अवॉइड सेल्फ मेडिकेशन एंड द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इन इंडिया इज सेल्फ मेडिकेशन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ओवर द काउंटर मेडिकेशन दैट यू गो टू अ मेडिकल शॉप विदाउट गोइंग टू अ डॉक्टर यू टेक मेडिसिन एट योर विम्स एंड फैंसीज एंड यू ऑलवेज टेक एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड द क्वैक्स आपने देखा ना छोटे मोटे झोला छाप डॉक्टर्स Who have no idea? Some compounder they are doctor ban gaye. So these people are also dangerous. Please remember this: antibiotics are very severe concern. Until unless you are affected by a bacterial disease, never take antibiotics. 
ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस बाकी डिप्टेरिया एंटीटॉक्सिन जो भी है ये आप डाल सकते हैं एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ इंजेक्शन एंड वट एवर अब वट आर दम गवर्नमेंट इनिशियटिव देख लेते हैं ऑन डिजीज प्रिवेंशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशियटिव नोन एज यूनिवर्सल इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम इट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन एट्टी इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ चाइल्ड सर्वाइवल एंड सेफ मदरहुड प्रोग्राम नाउ इट इज नोन एज सिंस टू थाउजेंड फाइव इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन एंड दीज आर द डिजीज इज कवर्ड तो इसका जनरल आइडिया रखे ट्यूबर क्लॉसिस वी नो टीबी इट इज कॉज बाय बैक्टेरिया एंड इट्स अ कॉम्युनिकेबल डिजीज इट स्पेड थ्रू एयर Diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus. They are basically have the same medicine. They are more or less the same, and they are treated in the same manner. Bacterial. Next is polymyelitis, something called polio. Polymyelitis is a viral disease. There is no medicine of polio. There is only a vaccine. Polio vaccine. That you are not do drop. Amita Bachchan pilane aate sabko. Next measles. Measles is a virus caused by spread through air. इतना डिटेल काफी है सबके लिए हेपेटाइटिस बी कॉज बाय वायरस स्प्रेड थ्रू वाटर डायरिया वी हैव अ वैक्सीन फॉर दिस डायरिया इज अ जनरल कंडीशन रिमेंबर डायरिया इज अ जनरल कंडीशन ऑफ बेसिकली लूज मोशन ऑफ समथिंग एंड इट कैन हैपन विद एनीवन डायरिया स्पेशल नहीं होता डायरिया कैन हैपन विद ऑल ऑफ द डिजीजेस इट कैन बी अ सब कंपोनेंट एवरीवेयर ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर फॉर दिस वी हैव अ वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड रोटा वायरस वैक्सीन डेवलप बाय इंडिया तो कोरोना वैक्सीन इज नॉट द फर्स्ट वी डेवलप बाय इंडिया हालांकि मीडिया ने तो ऐसे ही दिखाया बट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डेवलप न्यूरस वैक्सीन बिफोर दिस ठीक है नेक्स्ट जैपनीज इंसेफेलाइटिस कॉज्ड बाय अ वायरस निमोनिया आपको पता ही है निमोनिया में क्या होता है द एयर सैक्स इन योर लंग्स दे गेट फिल्ड अप एंड यू फाइंड डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रीथिंग ठीक है इट इज कॉज्ड बाय अ वायरस बैक्टीरिया एंड फंगी सो Uh, your pneumonia can be caused by all three virus bacteria or a fungi next is congenital rubella syndrome also known as german measles it's a illness resulting from rubella virus so it is a virus infection and it impacts whom pregnant women leading to miscarriages still births and other birth defects and it is spread by air so it is also communicable one find next national rural health mission pad lena khud hi agla national health mission national health mission combines both national rural health mission and national urban health mission ye bhi khud pad lena last mission indra dhanush mission indra dhanush is a particular program because who ke mutabik india mein around 80% se kam vaccination coverage hai so under mission indra dhanush it is, has been launched by ministry of health and मिनिस्ट्री याद रखिएगा इट हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर द पर्पज इज टू इम्यूनाइज ऑल इम्यूनाइज पार्शली इम्यूनाइज चिल्ड्रन एंड प्रेगनेंट वुमेन बाय 2020 व्हिच हैज पास्ड पर टारगेट अचीव नहीं हुआ है तो मे बी ट्वेंटी थर्टी ठीक है अगेंस्ट ट्वेल्व वैक्सीन सो मिशन इंद्र धनुष इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्सल इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम which itself is the part of national rural health mission which itself is the part of national health mission so inception level baat hai ye theek hai sapne ke andar sapne ke andar sapna national health mission within this you have national rural health mission within that you have universal immunization program and within that you have mission indra dhanush clear chaliye yahi tha i think last news chaliye bye bye so this is what i had for you today any question online people you want to ask anything thank you chaliye bye bye then very welcome aditi yes okay sir bye bye we'll meet again next saturday for the current affair thank you And sir any, yes very good uh, very welcome ashneet if anyone who does not have the access to the ppt please ask the institute they will provide you through portal or whatever bye bye